Okay, the code element is very useful, especially if you are um, describing code on a website, which uh, happens quite frequently, especially in teaching websites, um, but also just anytime you're referencing uh, code, uh, any kind of code. Um, so the code element represents a fragment of computer code. It could be an XML element name, a file name, a computer program, or any other string that a computer would recognize. A string um, is just, just means uh, like if you, if you string together a bunch of characters. So uh, it's, it's, it's a, really it's a variable type is, is the way it comes from. Um, it, it would be a, as opposed to like a number or some other type of variable. It just means a string of like text, characters, like, like what you would, like all this is actually, this is a string, right? So any, any string of, of computer code uh, that a computer would recognize um, and uh, it's, it's nice because it, it usually will render it in a monospliced font so that it, it uh, aligns properly with indentation and all of that. Um, but it also makes it stand out. So for example, this word right here, in the slide I've prepared it so that uh, it's got a, a different font and it's blue. Um, and I had to do that manually, but if this was HTML, I could have used the code uh, element and then uh, T taken CSS to make it look the way I wanted it to, um, because then it, then it's clear as you're reading this that this is not just uh, me talking about using the word code, but I'm talking about a, a piece of code, a, a t an actual a fragment of computer code, right? And uh, so here's here's a, a little example. Strong is a tag we talked about a bit earlier, um, and if if we didn't mark it out as code, you might be a little bit confused about what this sentence is saying. Um, the strong element, why is this element strong? And what are the weak elements, right? That doesn't, that's confusing, but because it's marked as code, it's clear that it's, oh, the element, the actual computer code element, strong, is nifty. 